Hi, my name is Andrew Martin. I'm the Chief Simplifier here at the Human Manual. And in today's blog post, it's all about the power of training. It's all about harnessing the power of training for technology and digital adoption in the workplace. In today's fast-paced digital world, technology is not just a luxury. It's actually a necessity for staying competitive. However, simply introducing new technology into the workplace just isn't enough. To truly harness its true power and reap the benefits, organisations like your own must really prioritise effective training. This blog post really delves into um, some of the things around why training is a crucial pillar in driving technology and digital adoption in your workplace. One of the first things about is really about bridging the skill gap. So, you know, with the fast and rapid technological advancements, a gap has emerged between the skills that employees have and those that are required to efficiently use the technologies. And that doesn't matter in what form of technology that's coming across or what method of technology. It's a, it's a broad statement across all the broad spectrums of technology that's available. Now, of course, the impact of training on that is that you create training programs that are tailored to specific technologies to help bridge the gap, ensuring that your employees are proficient and comfortable with the tools that they need to use. Now, I guess the second one is around enhancing productivity and efficiency. Now, the true problem here is that the new technologies can feel like they're very, very, you know, very overwhelming, leading to massive underutilization or incorrect usage in most cases. So some of the benefits with training, of course, is that proper training helps employees understand and utilize the technology to its fullest potential. And that means you should notice a significant improvement on their productivity and efficiency when using the, in their roles when they're using that particular piece of technology. The third thing is around fostering confidence and reducing resistance. Now, typically people do resist change due to the fear of the unknown. However, with training and comprehensive training, it kind of demystifies new technology, humanizes it to some degree. And that's what we focus on here at the Human Manual. And it's about building confidence among your employees. This reduces resistance to change, fostering a more adaptive and flexible workforce. The fourth thing I can tell you is ensuring consistency and standardization. This is so critical and so key. I mean, in diverse workplaces, employees may have varying levels of familiarity with technology. But when you standardize training and give everyone that baseline, it ensures that everyone is on the same page, promoting consistency in how technology is used across your organization. The fifth one is about supporting continuous learning and adaptability. I mean, the evolving nature of technology is constantly changing, um, necessitating an environment of lifelong learning. We're living in that evergreen environment, whether you're using Google Workspace or Microsoft 365, it's constantly being adapted. Now, regular training sessions keep employees up to date um, on the latest developments and making sure that they you know, ready to remain agile and adaptable to the new situations that may come up. This isn't about just giving you the skills about how to do something. It's actually about giving you the skills to start to explore what else is there and then start asking internally within themselves the why question and how that can relate to their role, which then empowers them to keep moving forwards in terms of embracing this new technology. I guess an important one, which is my sixth one, is really around enhancing security and compliance. Such a vital thing in today's world. I mean, new technologies often bring new security challenges. Of course, they bring great security features, but you think about how it's evolved over time now, our ability to share files with each other. There's a security enhancement there that you need to be aware of. And actually just educating our staff, our members, uh, members of staff, the employees at the company, about the security protocols and compliance requirements associated with new technologies can mitigate risks and protect the organization. Now, the seventh one, and probably my final one, is around encouraging innovation and, and you know, maintaining that competitive edge within your own respective industry. You see, when employees are well-trained, they're more likely to explore advanced features and innovative uses of technology. You think about when Microsoft Teams was first introduced, 
or a particular technology was first introduced, you found people were just using the core basics. And then pretty soon, as time goes on, people start to get really comfortable with it. And when you do, you know, do it with proper training, structured training, people start to feel very confident. And then they start to think, well, what else can this tool do? Now today, we know that Microsoft Teams can do a vast array of things. And actually, a lot of it, people don't actually need to leave their interface to do a lot of their day-to-day, -day, but they can get so much out of that tool that they probably wouldn't have explored themselves before without the additional coaching or technology training. Now, of course, the benefits of this is that it encourages a culture of innovation, giving the organization a competitive edge in the market. I guess in summary, you know, investing in comprehensive training programs is not just about teaching employees how to use the new tools. It's really about transforming the workplace into a more efficient, innovative and adaptable environment. As technology continues to evolve, the organizations that prioritize training, I think will be the ones that are leading the charge in the new digital era. Now, whether or not your organization is ready to embrace um, the full potential of technology, um, if you do have a requirement, then feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to have a conversation with you and think about how we could probably add value to that proposition. If not, don't worry about it. Stick around. We'll have lots more blog posts coming up where you'll hear from myself and other team members as well. Where we'll be talking to you about technology or training or some of the quirks that we found out over these many years of delivering technology training and digital transformation. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you again soon. All the best. Bye-bye.